Hi folks, Robin here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Enlightened Equipment Enigma Sleeping Quilt. So let's get stuck right in. Right, so there is the Sleeping Quilt in its stuff sack. As you can see, it is fairly compact. That is roughly about 13 inches long and about 8 inches wide. So that came in at 680 grams. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Right, so the Enigma quilt has a sewn in foot box. There's absolutely no zips here whatsoever. In the middle of the quilt, you've got two little clips here that you can clip in to keep yourself warmer in the colder nights. And at the very top here, there's also two buttons for the really cool nights if you want to have that buttoned up around the back of your shoulders. On the top of the quilt they have the baffles for your body which run up and down the way and at the foot box you'll be able to see that they run across the way and the reason for this is meant to put the down where you need it most to keep warm. Also on the top you have a little cord here so on the really, really cold nights, you can just pull that closed around your neck and just be really snug in there. The one downside though is this is on the front, so this often falls back on your face. That's the one thing I've found in that. So it's one minor niggle on this sleeping quilt. The bag also comes with two straps as well, so you don't have to have these attached like that. Instead, One strap is a loop, this goes around your sleeping pad. The second strap clips in to the bottom clips here. And this is basically, so if it's another cold night, you'll be able to pull this shut and just bring that more closer in to your body. Right, and the straps that are on your sleeping pad, this is for the top clips. And this just goes in here, like so. And like that. So that holds your bag into place. What you can do as well is these tighten up to pull the quilt in closer to your body again. Right, so that's me in the quilt now. I've got the button attached behind me, but if it's a really cold night, as I mentioned, you can easily get your hands back out and then just cinch this up to keep your neck warm. Hands back in, and there you go. See, that's that cord there I was telling you about. Can something land in your face? And the beauty about this is even for side sleepers, you might get a, a brief draft, but you just sort of pull that over yourself. And it's absolutely fine. I've only used this the one night, so as an initial review, I got it down to about 12 degrees, so this bag's comfort rating is actually minus six, so I will be testing in much colder conditions later on this year. I'll just uncinch this. And there you go, slide back out. Just so much easier than a sleeping bag. So get in and out if you need a pee. The Enigma quilt comes in four different sizes. I'm five foot ten and a slim build, so I've gone for a regular height and I've gone for the wide fit for the width. And the reason for the, the wider fit is just to give me that extra bit of comfort for snuggling up in the colder nights or if I just want to wrap around me uh, sitting in the tent at night. It just gives you that bit more options. It's a 850 power fill duck down and it's DWR treated as well so it will handle the water droplets from any condensation. The thing I like about this most is, and I'll show you, so I tend to sleep on my sides and occasionally on my back but I'm a restless sleeper and the one thing I like about this is it's just so easy not to get tangled up. 
sometimes you just have to pull the bag over your back like that a little bit to feel a draft and then <clears throat> back across like so and you're just you're not getting twisted up and it, cause it's not a sleeping bag so that is a bonus the one thing I would say with quilts is you need to make sure your um, sleeping pad is up to scratch it's got a decent R value um, this is the Xped Sin Mat goes down to I think it's minus two an R value about three or four I believe um, I also wear base layers I've got Rab Long Johns and I wear a, a Merino top as well to sleep in um, <clears throat> So bear that in mind as well, you probably do want to wear base layers with a quilt so you don't have a cold back on the surface here. But yeah, first impressions is I'm really happy with this quilt. I'm looking forward to testing it in more colder conditions so keep an eye on my future trips and you'll probably see more of this towards the winter months. But anyway, that's all I've got time for. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!